Welcome back, everybody. We are about to jump into the winner's match here from our two players who will be getting out of the group first. We're about to find out. Hero or Lime. Going to be starting off on Cactus Valley as well. Another big, juicy game ahead of us, Valdez. Pretty excited for this one, man. Yeah. This should be very interesting, too, because Hero just played a different matchup, but Hero just got to watch how life plays in this matchup, too, yeah. on very similar maps. Now, I doubt we're going to see much of a repeat of what life just did as well, especially that last game, two base muter into that no. Hydronitis timing. No. Uh, <laughs> absolutely amazing, but you know, that's a one-hit wonder right there. Hero will be expecting that, and he'll be putting pylons around his base so he ever sees that kind of tech again. So, second map's going to be Terraform. Mm. Going to be the first time we're going to see that tonight. Yeah. Not a bad map for Zerg on that map, uh, in that sort of positions, I believe. You know, third base so far away, but we got to get to that map first. Texas Valley, same map we just saw here between Life and SOS. But as you said, I think 100% we can call it. That's not going to happen again. So what is Life going to have prepared for Hero this time? Bit of a different style mm -hmm. as well. Coming yeah. out of Hero, not not as tricky, more solid. Yeah, more straight up. Maybe we can see Life go for that Hydra timing that we did see Sue go for recently, and Bio. You know, at the same time. Bial is Hero's teammate. He's the one that practices against it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Hero knows exactly what to do against it as well. Of course, we do have to see on this gigantic map first where are these guys going to spawn? How is this going to go down? Let's jump into game number one right now between Hero and Life. Here in the top right, in the red, from KT Rolster, it is life. Showing a lot of aggression on this map, last game. Down here in the bottom right, we do have CJ Hero taking apart innovation in his first match. Yes, and take a look at the minimap right now and see where that probe is going. That is an interesting probe. Looking for some mischief here. Looking for the Overlord Scout. Yeah. That's really what this is all about. Wouldn't be surprised to see a forge come down. Yeah, that would be not a bad choice at all for Hero in this kind of situation after he saw what Life did previous game. And there it is. He's forge. looking for that hatch first out of life. He's going to scout. Top left doesn't see it. And here we go. Hatch first. We never usually see... Protoss has commit much to a cannon, uh, a cannoning these days. It's always pressure, never f all the way. Yeah. I'm excited to see if Hero will be that different. Well, Zerg's these days, they just know exactly what to do, how many drones to pull, exactly when. Life is only going to pull one. He's not taking this seriously. Well, let's have a look here. Yeah, Life, you know, he's straight up. Just like, you know what? I ain't buying it. I ain't buying what you're selling. So Let's go ahead see. and cannon me. Cannon. I wouldn't know because I don't have an overlord at your base. Yeah, well, here we go. And we're going to see a cannon line up here. One, two. Now the drones come down. Is it going to be enough time? Okay, these uh, cannons are pretty exposed. It's going to be hard for here to yeah. get one up safely. He's going for the one cannon that's had less build time there. This one is a little bit farther along, but still, that's five drones getting to work. Yeah. Oh, I don't think there's really any chance these two are going to get up. Maybe one's at the back there. One finishing up here, but it's going to have to get canceled. It's not going to do much damage. Doesn't get canceled. He's just trying to go for kills. He gets one. It's not bad. Well, that's just not worth it, man. That's 150 minerals for nothing, really. But these ones at the back are the ones that are going to get up. Lings are on the way, but not in time. If you try hard enough, you will get some cannons down. Yeah, if you invest enough, they yeah. should happen. There we go. One is going to get up. These roads are going to have to retreat. And Lings are out, but Lings aren't going to be able to do this, man. No, no way. No way, no how, Moonblade. 
Maybe a counterattack could be on the cards here, but the cannon already going up. Yeah. I don't think that works. I mean, just going to have to send out a bunch of drones now to try to take other bases. This probe is not dead. Keep in mind. Can come over here and block. Here we go. One to the south here. They're looking for another one around the third base when he's got 300 minerals. This hatch will go down. And after all, he got, I think it was one drone and had a, had to cancel a bunch of those cannons. He lost two of the, or one of them, I think. Yeah, not a bad place for a hero right now. Uh, the only one kind of down point, oh, downer I can see, is that pylon is at the front of these cannons. So a queen can go down there and deal with that in due time as well. But look at this. Oh, making his way through. Pylon finishes in time there. Very nicely done. Yeah, here's played against this before. And look at this. Queen coming down the ramp. We're going to be looking for this pylon. See that in just a second. Another probe coming over here to take the last Brave Probe's place. Oh, throwing down a tumor that kind of gets sniped. And it doesn't look like he's going to commit to the cannon, uh, to the pylon. Maybe that kind of can just reach the queen at maximum range. He's going to get a full scout. That's pretty nice. Let's see, like, if there's any gas coming down. He's also going to see where these bases get down to and when they come up. Yeah. He could be looking for you know, an attack on that closer third base that Life had to put down as well. Yeah, well it's like right in the face of Hero, actually. Yeah, it's kind of surprising he chose there, but I guess it is one of the closer bases compared to the, the one you know, in the yeah. top center. <laughs> it's just going a little too far away. Zella now getting to work here. He's just going to be just fine against uh, the small number of wings. What has he got here really at this base? He, he doesn't have that many drones mining. It looks like he put most of them at the other base, which is very smart. Yeah, he's got the, uh, the ones up to the center left. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Stargate just finished up. We are going to see that Oracle for sure. No doubt about that. Great time to do it. There it is. And Life's not going to not gonna be seeing this one anytime soon. He's going to have to assume it's coming and play safe. Or just three quarters to the wind and... Make, not make a bunch of lings. <laughs> make, <laughs> make some lings. Be aggressive. Be life. Being that a defensive style. Well, if there's only that one queen there at that base, a lot of these drones could be in danger. And he's going to follow this up with a lot of gateways. We've seen this before, actually. Yeah, it's completely all in behind this. Not a bad choice because this is guaranteed to do some economic damage unless he really messes up his micro. He's actually going for the, the heavier droned up base as well. And a zealot to help tie up that queen. He's going to focus the queen, first of all. He's going to give time for a score to get up, but you know, it slows down production. Yeah, he will kill that queen, and that's not all. A lot of these turns in danger, too. Oracle hasn't run out of energy yet. Oh, boy. This may just be too much damage. He also lost a bunch of links to the cannons. Oh, man. Yeah, that's nine drones going down and an all-in behind this. Fantastic place for Hero right now. Yeah. He doesn't have the queen there at the third base also for the production. He's not really going to have the economy to, to hold this off, I think. No. He's even got those two cannons back there, which if he can get into the natural won't be too bad for defense. He's going to warp in. Yep. I mean, why not? There's no way he can engage into this. He's going to try for the pylon, but three force fields are going to stop that. Guaranteed. Going into plus one armor behind this, too. So. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Why not? I mean, you have the money, you have the tech. Just got to get out the uh, the units now. You know, he's got so much money right now. And here we go. Only links to defend. Never going to happen against plus one zealots. No. And this many sentries. He can force field off the ramp if he wants to. He can force field in a circle. He can make a donut up the ramp if he wanted to. He could just not force field as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's... He, like, don't... Well... Anyway, he's like going to come in here. Just move command to the yeah. win. Might as well try that. I mean, plus one zealots aren't dying to lings. Guaranteed in this kind of situation. He didn't kill the pylon. The zealots just got rid of everything too fast. Yeah. He's just too much. GG. Hero takes game number one here against life.
too far behind after the counter rush and then after the Oracle harassment that did way too much damage. No Roach Tech at all guarantees an easy win with plus one Zealots. After the first Cannon Rush, it's like, okay, he's pretty far behind. Then the Oracle just said, there's no way he's winning this game. Hero just a very nicely prepared build for the map. I liked it. He, he knew that life was going to go uh, pretty greedy and not take him seriously when he went for the, the, for the Cannons. And uh, came back to bite him.